we see windows every day. Windows are, are in our homes and our schools. But what if I told you long ago people used windows as a source of artwork? This art form is called stained glass. Many, many years ago, before cell phones or TV or radios even existed, there was nothing to show images except for art. At the time, the church was very popular, and people in the church wanted those who came to church to feel peaceful and light when they entered the building. They also wanted people to see the stories from biblical text because some people didn't know how to read at the time. So you will see this artwork in many churches from long ago. It illuminates buildings with beautiful imagery and beautiful colors. This is glass that has been wedged together and soldered together to make designs. As time passed, no one really wanted to decorate their churches like this anymore, and so the popularity went away. But this same technique was used many years later in the 1920s called Art Deco, and people used stained glass to make lamps and to add modern designs to their homes. Here are some examples of modern stained glass. Today, we will be making our own miniature stained glass window using paper, contact paper, and tissue. Take the paper that I have given you in class and fold it in half. Match the corners so they are even, like exact. Once you have that folded, put your ruler on the edge of the paper and draw a line. Leave a little space at the top and the bottom. This is going to be the, the outside of the window, these lines. We're creating a frame for the glass. At the bottom, take the width of your ruler and go to the edge of that line you drew and draw it toward the center. Go to the top and do the same. So it looks like a pixelated C. In the middle, draw a line almost touching the middle and leave a little gap. And then draw a line coming down and touching it there and there. It looks like half of a cross. In the middle, we're going to cut out that little portion. And how I do that is I fold it a little bit and create a hole. Then I follow those white lines in the middle and cut them out. Once the lower po portion is cut out, go to the top. Fold it a little bit, create a little hole, and cut on the white line. Once you have this cut out, throw away the extra paper and open it up. It should look like a window. Now we're going to fill the four empty holes with tissue paper and a sticky paper called contact paper. Trim up any edges that look messy and make sure that the white part of your color pencil is facing you. Open up your contact paper and be careful that you don't wrinkle it or get it stuck together. Once you have it laying flat on your table, put the contact paper, and excuse me, the construction paper down onto it. Now the fun part is filling those window holes with tissue paper. You can create a design, you can create a picture, you can even cut the tissue paper before you put it down to look more like a uniform design. I put some green on the bottom and blue on the top to almost make it look like it's a sunset or a landscape. Now you can do anything that you'd like. You can just do random colors or you can fill them in with a design. Now when you're done putting in the tissue paper, cut off any loose edges and make sure nothing is on the edges of that sticky contact paper. And you're gonna fold it over. Make sure that you match up the edges is the best, the best that you can. If you don't, it's okay. We'll cut them out off with scissors later. 
So I trim up the edges to make them look neat and straight, and then I press down firmly. Once you're done with your window, put it next to a real window and watch the light shine through.